Good evening all. Now something I don't cover very often on this channel is coaches. I talk about wagons a fair bit, I've been known to talk about locomotives, but coaches not so much. So I thought what I would do today is a little project to improve on a classic. Now this here is a Triang Mark I coach. The Mark I coaches were British Railway's first um, standard coach design. They had a whole family of them designed for different functions. This is a BSK, which stands for Brake Second Corridor, because presumably the designer didn't know how corridor was spelt. Um, the coaches were first built in 1951. Um, they were in service into, I believe, the 1990s. These days they're kind of the nucleus of the heritage railway scenes coaching fleet. There are, I would say, very few British heritage railways that don't have at least one rake of these. Now, the Triang Mark I coach was, for its day, a pretty good model. I emphasise for its day. These days there are um, there are better versions of this available. Um, in fact, the Hornby Railroad range includes an updated version of the Mark I coach, which is very affordable, but not quite as affordable as these. I got this for a fiver, along with a number of others, um, which is almost irresistible. So, I thought I'd see how we can make the most of this. The first step is to dismantle the coach. And to do that, you have to undo these two screws in the base. Watch the bogey. I mean, really, you need a better screwdriver than what I have. But I, I don't have a better screwdriver than what I have. Next up, there's a little... Let me just see if I can get that in focus. There's a little clip um, under the corridor uh, there. Which needs to be undone to get the roof off. Hmm. And it would appear that I have cracked the plastic there, which is a hazard with these older coaches. Still, it's not too bad. With the roof off, you can kind of see how the whole thing goes together. So what Triang did was they actually produced a single chassis um, and a range of different kind of parts that they could attach. It's quite cunning, really. Now, um, I'm just going to put the chassis aside for now. What I want to concentrate on here is the interior. Now, a painted interior actually goes a surprisingly long way to um, improving the look of your coaches. Now, how detailed you want to go with the painting is up to you. Do bear in mind that you won't be able to see a lot of the detail once the whole thing is reassembled, but um, what I like to do is just get some basic colours to um, so that there's something to look at through the windows if anyone chooses to do so. Now, I'm going to go for brown here. So they went with a sort of, don't know if it was wood or faux wood thing. 
Now, the guards van section would actually be painted cream, so I'm not going to bother with that. I did actually just spend a, a little while deciding which shade of cream to use before realising the obvious point, i.e. that it is already cream. It's stuff like that that makes me wonder why it is I'm generally considered to be a functioning adult. What I am going to try to do, though, is um, just pick out the cages, and I'm just going to use a silver sharpie. Don't know if it's going to work. By applying it fairly lightly, you can actually pick out the wiring of the luggage racks. That's a pretty cool effect. Next up, the seats. Now, this is a second class coach, and on Mark 1 coaches, that paint is far too thin, the seats were blue. This is ridiculous. Let me start again. Well, that seating is pretty bad. I'm going to have to go over it again, I think. Meanwhile, for the floors, I am going to paint them grey. While I wait for the interior to dry, I'm going to get to work on the ends and underframe. Now I'm using rail matches weathered black just to go over the ends and the uh, I think it's the soul bar which sounds like some sort of music venue. I remember music venues. Anyway. Now, one further addition you may wish to make at this point is passengers. Um, now, I'm just going to add a couple for demonstration purposes. What I have here are some figures that you can get very cheaply. Um, nobody seems to know exactly who makes them beyond someone in China. You can get them on... Uh, eBay, Amazon, I believe you can get them on Wish. Um, they're not the most detailed, it has to be said, and they are technically HO scale. But, as I said with the business of painting the interior, you won't be able to see much of the actual inside of the coach. These will just give you the impression that there's somebody you know, actually in the coach. There they are in place. I'm planning a fuller video on passengers um, and how to make the most of these figures. Um, but in the meantime, that's just a, a basic fitting for you. Now back to the underframe, which sounds like a comeback album for a band, possibly one that plays in the soul bar. Um, for these underframe details, I am just giving them a coat of another of Rail Matches weathering paints, Frame Dirt. Now this is a very vivid looking brown when it goes on, but trust me, it will look a lot more subtle when it dries. Now I fixed the crack in the roof with some contact cement and now I'm just going to paint it in a dark grey. These coach roofs would originally have been a much lighter grey but in service, they'd very quickly gain a a uh, patina of filth. Now, patina of filth would also be a good name for a band, possibly a Cradle of Filth tribute band. I don't know. 
Or maybe it could be like a Cradle of Filth covers album. Hmm. As for the coach sides, I'm going to pick out the handles. In, well, the colour I'm using is Vallejo's Bronze. But they seem to have been a, a kind of um, brassy colour, which this is intended to represent. Back to the underframe. And what I'm going to do now is just apply a wash, thusly, which will bring out the detail in the moulding and just generally, I hope, make the whole thing look a bit more naturalistic. Okay, waiting for the wash to dry. And now... I'm going to start reassembling. Where did I put the sides? Here they are. Ooh. Little coach friends, how do you go together? Okay, I think it's sides first, then interior. As a finishing touch, I'm putting a bit of powder on. Just going to get a little bit on the sides but not too much this is after all a coach and would get a bit of attention from the cleaners and here's the end result like I say the Triang Mark 1 is not the greatest Mark 1 coach out there but it's a pretty good starting point and with a little work, you can wind up with something that won't disgrace the average layout. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it interesting. If so, then please hit that little like button below. Consider subscribing, if you will. And I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.